All right, welcome. Thank you for spending time with me. Uh, today we're going to do steak. Today is steak night. Steak night in my house. I tell you what, I love steak. Uh, charcoal. We're going to do the charcoal grill. Gives it a smoky flavor. Um, high heat. It's a thick cut of New York strip steak with a fat cap on that. Hit it on high heat charcoal. Oh my goodness. Steak is beautiful. I love steak. I'll show you how I do my steak. Get yourself some wine, we're going to be cooking. Cheers. Oh, that's good. I should get that bottle again. All right, so this is the New York Strip steak that I'm working with. It's slightly thicker than two inches. I will like it that thick so that it can withstand all the heat that I'm going to throw at it. It's going to be high, high charcoal heat. Uh, get 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 a steak that's beautiful to look at. You should be able to look at meat and know it's good. Um, this has a very thick fat cap on it. Uh, get yourself the fillet knife, and I am just gonna trim some of this fat off. I'm not taking all the fat off, all right? I want some fat because that gives me the flavor when I'm cooking this on the grill. So I'm just gonna trim off just fat. Now, what I'm doing this? Let's talk about steak. First off, guys, when you're doing steak, get a good quality cut of meat. It's very, very important. Know how you're going to cook it. Is it going to be on the soft soap? Are you going to put it on the grill? Is it going to be high heat? Are you going to do a New York strip? Are you going to do a filet mignon? Are you going to do a... Ah, what's the other one? Whatever they are. So, know your cuts of meat. I go with a New York strip. Reason why it gives me, I think that's enough fat cup. It gives me a fat cup and then it gives me slightly lean, almost a 80%, 20% fat content. 80% uh, lean, 20% fat content, usually. Uh, if you like it very, very fatty, then you wanna go with your ribeyes. If you like it lean, then you wanna go with your filet mignon. Uh, so, steak. If it's a good cut of steak, you don't need to be fancy with this. I'm just going to hit it with salt, pepper, olive oil. That's it. All right. So get yourself some olive oil. I'm going to brush every single side of this. I'm going to cook every side of it so that it's nicely, evenly cooked in the inside. Um, yeah, just olive oil. Brush it on every single side, all right? There we go. Including the fat part, all right? And then we are gonna salt and pepper the same. All right, let's do the salt. <coughs> Some kosher. Pepper. That's it. I'm gonna keep flipping this around and work on different sides. Salt, pepper. I'm not gonna bother you with this, but anyway, you get the drift. Salt and pepper, every single corner. All right, so I'm gonna get my grill going. Uh, I'm using a charcoal starter. Uh, it's a little contraption that acts like a chimney. Just, just enhances my charcoal. As soon as this is ready, we are gonna grill some steaks. All right, folks, my charcoal, if you can see in the chimney, nice and red cooking. All right, I'm gonna dismount this charcoal. I'm gonna put it in the grill, then I'll show you my setup. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got my charcoal in. Now, here's the deal. Uh, yeah, you can see some flames on there. I don't want the flames. I just want charcoal hot briskets. Remember this, always have a safe zone. Right there's my safety. When I put my steak on there for three minutes aside and it starts burning, I can move it to the safe zone. That's why it's called a safe zone. But anyway, as soon as those flames die down, I want just hot briskets. High heat, steak night. All right, my uh, coals have calmed down a little bit. No flames. I, all I have is just orange briskets. This is when the steaks goes in. All right, folks, we're ready to go. 
there's my steak on there. I'm going to do three minutes a side. I've got four sides. Uh, for this size steak, two inches, slightly bigger than two inches, four sides. Boom, boom, boom. Flip it. Stay with me. All right. And this is why we have a safe zone. It's flaming, which is okay. Take it out. Let it sit. That's just fat. Three more minutes on that side. So, I chose a thick cut of steak because it's, it's going to take all the heat you throw on it. Don't worry about those flames. This is two and a half inches thick. Sorry, two inches thick. It's gonna take it. Let it go. Guys, this steak is going perfectly. All right, so that's two sides. Bam, I got one more side right in the middle there. There we go. And remember, if it starts flaming, you move it to the steps to the safe side, which is right there. But for now, this can take a lot of heat. It's a stick that can take a lot of heat. Um, so, it may look burnt to you on the outside, but in the middle, I got me some medium steak. All right, so about halfway through my cooking, uh, so I've done it three sides. This is the third size I'm doing. That's the fat cup. I haven't done the fat cup yet. Now, if you like your steak more cooked than medium, if you want it medium well, if you want it well done, I would suggest you move it to the safe zone, cover the grill, get yourself a uh, well done steak. Personally, my way, medium. Alright, three minutes later, I am going to do my fat cup side. It's careful, you got to monitor your fat cup side because that is what is going to flare up and it's going to catch fire because it's fatty, so see that? There we go. I don't mind that. It's okay. It gives me a flame broiled, a char broiled effect, but I do that last. Um, yeah. So when you do the fat cup part, it's kind of gonna flame out. And this is why we have a safe zone, folks. If you feel like this is getting too hot, move it out. There we go. But for me. I'm gonna go right back in there because I want it that way. Alright, folks, so four sides at three minutes a side. That gives me about 12 minutes. My steak is ready to go. I'm gonna take this guy out, come back with me. Oh yeah, look at that. Nicely charred. Right. Oh beautiful. So once you take your steak out, please, please, please let it sit. Let the juices distribute. This is going to sit for at least three minutes before I cut into it. It should be medium. I should have a nice crust. I should have a nice, deep, reddish, pinkish cut in the middle. Warm. All right, my steak has been sitting for at least three minutes. Let's take a look and see what we did. And that is my kind of steak, folks. That's a medium. If I can cut it one more slice just to show. Oh, Lord of mercy. That's a beautiful steak. Cheers. Enjoy. Don't forget to follow me on my blog, YouTube. Stick.